Welcome back everybody. This is the third part of my video. This is the ThinkPad 240 made in 1999 by IBM. This is type 260943J. Here we have the bottom. Obviously we have three audio audio ports, um, headphone, microphone, and uh, line in or out or something. I didn't check what it was. Worry about all that stuff later, but main thing is we have the battery and a hard drive right here. The battery has a two latch system, just like all like all recent you know batteries. Little little guy right here. This is a twelve. Oh, I'm sorry, seventeen hundred um, mAh. I think it's milliamps, milliamperage. But yeah, pretty pretty tiny battery, pretty small. Um, the camera batteries are just. The camera batteries and the, and the ThinkPad 235, they're about, they're probably about like two, two and a half, uh, that's probably two and a half times bigger than, than one. And then of course we have the hard drive caddy and the hard drive itself. It's a PADA hard drive, it has a little pr proprietary connector, pretty, pretty crappy. Um, I took out the screws because, I mean, we might as well take them out, It'd take too long. But you have all your screws over here. And we're gonna go ahead and lift it up. <laughs> a little bit hard to do this. Um, let's see. I think the way to take off this this thing was you have to move this thing forward. Yeah, and then you move it forward. Here we have the the keyboard connector, I believe. Oh, it's both. It is st stuck in there quite, it's pretty firm. That was a lot more harder than I thought. Oh, then we got a little little screw right here hold, holding it. I mean, I was supposed to take that off too. Oh, that's why it was firm. Whoops. Interesting, never had a, a keyboard like that before. Um, oh yes, I forgot there's a video of of this guy doing a hinge test on this thing. Basically, what he did, he just held it like this and see if it would go all the way down. Let's see. Um, let's see, is mine? Oh no, mine doesn't hold up. Yeah. Well, the hinges are bad on this. Let's see, so let's go ahead and get back to it. Um, let me just make sure the video is good. Okay, there's the ThinkPad right there. So here we go. Um, let me put put this guy put something down here to make it flat or something. But yeah, we got we got the RAM right here, 64 megabytes of 606. I'm am sorry, 66 megahertz RAM. Um, per, pretty low on, on these standards. I think this is uh, well, it's SODIMM. It's not Edo RAM or anything like that. So yeah. Um, not, not too bad. And then we got this soldered in RAM or soldered in RAM, whatever you want to call it. We have the modem right here. It looks like we have the uh, the in, the the connection for the power button. And oh, of course. Oh, how weird. Well, I guess these ones. Well, not always, but the track track point was the buttons. I should say was a different part of the unit, which is kind of interesting because some usually. Usually they're, they're integrated, but I noticed this one had it out a little bit. Let's go ahead and remove that. Uh, let's see if there's any of the screws. We got one right here, pretty loose. Uh, screw, that was the other screw. Those screws. Um, I think it was this way I was supposed to pull out, or this way. There's a certain way you pull this guy out. No, it has to be. I think it's this way. Um, let's see. Am I missing anything? Missing any screws? I don't think I am. Let's see. Uh, we have to remove the screen, and we also have to remove the little uh, LEDs for the the um for the the 
I can't even think of it right now. Ugh. The inform not the information. Ugh, forget the, the the LEDs with like the power battery, uh, hard drive. Uh, I forget the indicator lights or wh whatever. I, I botched that. Yeah, I know. Um, as far as what I've heard, um, somebody's somebody about the two thirty five said it's it's very hard to uh, disassemble. They would not recommend it. Uh, oh yeah, this isn't. Woo boy! So let's see this, and then that's stuck right there. Hmm, interesting. Uh, now this is all. This is like one unit. Oh, that's why. Well, now that we see it, we had to remove it because all this stuff. It's kind of got some grime down there. Looks like I could clean that up too. All right, and then you lift it, I believe you lift it up this way. Jeez, I'm terrible today. I'm missing this screw over here. Great, it's it's just a sticker, so. Uh, I have, right now I have, I never really looked up on on what's good, good to to um, take, take these, or stick back the, the little, um, <laughs> Those little stickies. Let's see. I believe, I believe it is. Oh well, we might as well. We might as well get this guy out of the way. Sweet. All right. So now you have to worry about the LCD. Oh, and the LCD. I think it's 800 by 600. Yeah. It's uh. It's not. It's not. It's it's SV. It's SVGA. Old school. Thing's a little bit too old, or maybe I did do it the wrong way. Oh, I forgot to take this guy out. I believe that's the speaker. Yeah. Oh no. I yeah speaker right there. So um, I forget where I have this video at. Okay, so we have right here a little heatsink fan, or maybe not a heatsink fan. A little little pressurizer for the. I believe this that's the north bridge yeah north bridge is usually bigger or north bridge is bigger south bridge we have the modem right here um i think that's the uh, microphone port power button is right there then we have the uh, leds for the little indicators and the heat sink right there that's where our process is at so i'm gonna go ahead and just give it a little Repaste. See, see if I it probably doesn't even need any. Um, I have really bad luck with these on HPs. Uh, ooh, okay. And before I try to just rip it off, we have a screw right here. It comes just right off. Interesting. That oh, that's that's interesting. So they have this as like not metal, but not a copper, but I think this is aluminum or something. But they have it. And they have these little, I want to say the transistors or capacitors. No, 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 resistors. No, did I ever say resistors? Those little diodes, we got them right there. This is one solid piece of just like, oh my gosh, there's like no paste. Whoa, interesting. Well, these computers didn't really need, or these processors, I should say, don't really need anything. Very interesting. Um, shoot, I guess I'm gonna put some Arctic Silver Five on here. Oh my gosh, I'm popular today. Um, but yeah, that's about it. That's our USB right there. That is our infrared. This is our mouse. Um, this is, I guess, serial and parallel. I I forget what it is. VGA right here. Oh, and this is our other indicators as well for the power power plug. Um, over here is our modem jack, cancel tin lock, and then our audios. And this, I believe, is is a floppy connector or a CD drive connector right here. Um, yeah, and then the PCMI A or whatever it's called. Look at that. We've got the replacement battery right there. It is a Panasonic. It says UL2020. Uh, it says plus three volts. 
this looks like looks like it's okay, not really bulging. Uh, I wonder if that's the coprocessor. Looks like you could add it in. And then we have the the uh, Pata connector bolt, not bolted, screwed in there. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit. And we're just gonna add thermal paste, even though it probably doesn't matter, um, because because yeah, that is a pretty big die. Like, look how big that die is com compared. Okay, it's not that big, but for what it does, it's it is pretty big. And we have the little fan, of course, right there. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nice. Well, I can't really put it there too firmly, but yep. And I believe this was the screw that goes in this part. And then, of course, we have to complement it with little, the little LCD, um, or not the LCD, the whatever this guy's called. I'm just gonna toss this in here real quick. Yep. Oops. So there we go. That is how we do it. We're gonna go ahead and try to put this little guy right in there. Oh, I don't want to gross my hands. Look, fucking dirty ass nails too. Bam. So it should be working fine now. Well, I mean, it was working fine the other hand, but I don't. I really don't know if it's gonna make a difference. Um, I guess I should power it on to find out if it does. Okay, and here's the final part of the video. Put it with my hand. Sorry about that. Let's see if we got it turning on. Sounds like it's on, but we don't have anything on the LCD, which is a little bit scary. A little flicker. And we have something entering BIOS, BIOS setup utility. Actually, I haven't even seen the BIOS yet on this thing. Let's see what it looks like. And I hope that my camera does not die during this. Oh, it looks just like a. Well, it's a little bit different. It's not usually the the. So, so that's weird. Some of these older ThinkPads, the square is a bit smaller than others. But um, yeah, just your simple BIOS. Uh, there's my serial. If you guys want to know it, shaky cam because it's on my hand. Uh, yeah. So that's that's uh, everything. It doesn't matter if I set the system time because it's just going to reset it anyways. Um, that's about it. Uh, I guess it boots off a floppy drive if I want to um, want to somehow configure this thing. So I'm super happy. Well, bootable add-in cards. I'm super happy that this thing has a good drive. I might just copy this this hard drive and put it onto the uh, the S31 and hopefully I'll get something to boot on there because right now. I cannot boot from that thing. So this computer was in pretty good condition. Not too many scratches, not big dents. Uh, some scratches on the lid, but that's that's normal. All the bottom bottom of her feet are there, which are nice. Um, I cleaned it with um, window cleaner, or I should say glass cleaner. That's not ammonia based, so it won't ruin the plastics. I use a razor blade and. A small small needle to get to the dirt and grime that a cloth can get to, into, and then I blew it off with a canned air. On the keyboard, I actually you have to apply a pretty pretty decent amount of uh, force on the keyboard when you're putting back the retaining screws. This is a little bit a little bit weird because it, uh, originally I had to I had to screw screw it back in again because it, it didn't um it didn't match up. But other than that. I think the hardest part here would be finding the hard drive caddy, um, not the hard drive caddy, the, but the the connector, the hard drive connector to the the laptop. It doesn't it doesn't use a standard PATA. You have to have like a little special unit. One last thing, this ThinkPad has a little little drain hole on here. There is a water passageway that or something like that I saw in the hardware maintenance manual. And upon further inspection, it looks like there's a little bit of like water that this thing could take. So I found this interesting because I believe the T40 was the first ThinkPad to reintroduce it again. And um, it's not as intense as the X1 Carbon or the X1 series, but yeah. 
Pretty interesting to know that this was in 1999 that I even thought about this, but it's weird that it wasn't in the T20 or T30s. Alrighty guys, I'll see you around.